In transport mode, there's only the single IPv4 header, which isn't changed. So you have the IPv4 header here, protocol 50, pointing to the fact that we're using ESP, and the ESP header is added. There's also an ESP trailer, and the ESP trailer tells us that the next header to look at is the TCP header in the encrypted IP data. So once this is decrypted, we'll have a TCP header next. Here's the ESP authentication data, and this, if this is used, if this option is used with ESP, then we're going to also have authentication, meaning we're going to have an integrity check, or we're going to hash the entire, um, from ESP header to ESP trailer, we're going to hash all these fields so that we can verify the integrity of the data that it wasn't changed. Now let's compare that to tunnel mode, which is used in VPN tunnels. In this case, the entire original IPv4 entire packet is encapsulated and encrypted. Not only the IPv4 data with TCP header and TCP data, including application layer data, but the original IPv4 header is encrypted along with the ESP trailer. Notice that the ESP trailer says the next header that to point to will be the IPv4 header because there's an original IPv4 header. There's an IP address and there's a new outer public IP address over here that was created. The new IPv4 address points to the fact that we're using protocol 50 ESP and there's the ESP header and ESP trailer and ESP authentication data if we decide to have integrity checks or authenticated information through hashing. This is the type of packet that you would see in an ESP or VPN tunnel with the original IP address and the new or public outer IP address.